Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post fight analysis video from Ryzen 26. Miyu Yamamoto versus Ayaka Hamasaki for the Adam Weight title belt. All right, y'all, let's go back to 2020 real quick to Ryzen 26 and talk about this Yamamoto versus Hamasaki fight. I actually got a chance to check this fight out a couple of nights ago, but I've been kind of busy, so I'm just getting, uh, I'm just getting around to drop the video now. But uh, what started out to look like an interesting fight in favor of Yamamoto on the feet changed real quick when it got to the ground for uh, Hamasaki. You know, she was able to showcase her strength, her slickness, and her uh, overall better ground skills when she snagged that right arm of Yamamoto and she was able to change to a, a solid position and just lock in that scissor leg choke. I mean, the way she had that right arm, I thought she was going for an arm bar. But when she fell over on her side and let that momentum drop Yamamoto on her back, she locked in that scissor leg choke. And she forced Yamamoto to tap in the first round. Very good uh, way to cap off 2020. Solid way to cap capture that atom weight belt for Yamasa Hamasaki. Uh, real quick, just looking back at that first round, just some key points in there, man. Hamasaki, she was applying some good pressure, trying to jab her way in. And Yamamoto, she was moving nicely on the back foot. I like the footwork early on, you know, using some good lateral movement. And she was she was able to set, set a couple of nice traps on her feet. That's why I don't know why Yamamoto went in for that takedown. Like, she went in for that single leg right after she landed some good punches. Like, she should have kept this fight standing. There was a point when uh, Hamasaki, she came in and Yamamoto, she landed a good right hook right on the chin. And then she was able to step out. So I was like, okay, if she continues to land these nice little counter punches or these little nice time punches, she might be able to score a knockout or just, you know, box her way or strike her way to a decision. But once again, Hamasaki, when she's coming in with her chin wide open, Yamamoto comes in with another right hook, plants it right on the chin. You can hear the shot land. And when she lands it, she goes in for the single leg. Like instead of following up with shots or moving out at an angle, you know, she goes for the single leg. When she gets the single leg, it's a mistake because this is what Hamasaki wants, in my opinion, because she's still she's not hurt and she's ready to do some work. So once she, she's got her grasp on her now, you know, she just lets the fight go to her. She just lets the fight go to the ground. When she gets to the ground, she laps, latches on to Yamamoto's right arm. And when she has it, she just continues to hold it in that position where Yamamoto has no she has no leverage. Like she can't get away like she has like the right arm pulled behind her back. So she's just holding on tight to it until until finally she flips to side control and she has Yamamoto in a position where she couldn't really break free at this point like she could not break free so finally yeah Hamasaki she squats up and she's still holding on to that arm and then she just drops back on her side lets the momentum flip Yamamoto onto her back locks into that scissor leg hold and just starts squeezing and squeezing and Yamamoto has the tap very solid performance by Hamasaki but like I said Yamamoto she had she had the skill set to beat Hamasaki if she just committed to the striking. Like she was landing some good punches early on, but Hamasaki, you know, that's what you gotta do. And somebody gives the fight to you, you gotta take it. Solid performance overall from the skilled uh, uh, Hamasaki, but you know, I just feel like it was just too much for uh, Yamamoto. She, there was no way she could get out of that uh, that trap whenever she, she grabbed the right arm. It was just uh, a little too late. I feel Yamamoto would have been had some better moments if she just kept it standing, but like I said, that's how it goes sometimes, man. It's all about time. And if somebody gives you that opportunity, they're going to take it. And, and that's what Hamasaki did. You know, she captured the rising belt last uh, last fight of 2020. And from here, man, I'm thinking if the UFC follows through with the creation of the atom weight division, hey, this might be a good good time to sign Hamasaki. You know, she's a veteran in the game, veteran in the atom weight division, fought a few fights at straw weight. So uh, she would be a good addition to this Adam Wade division that they might possibly uh, build. You know, that'll go ahead and bring in some star power, exposure, and some experience to the Adam Wade division if the UFC is willing to do that in 2021. But uh, yeah, shout out to uh, new champion, new Adam Wade champion, Ayaka Hamasaki. Uh, what do you know in the comment section with you guys if y'all saw this fight? But it's uh, actually on YouTube. I'll post the link up here in uh, the description so y'all can check it out. Um, all the fights are on there from Ryzen 26. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out, guys. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.